Hello friends, welcome to Leg Life and welcome back to Vlogmas and welcome to our first Christmas Vlogmas cooking video. Uh -huh. Kind of a cooking video. Kind of. Today we are making something that neither of us have ever made a homemade version of. Right. That we both love. Yep. And that I'm super, super excited about. And we decided during Vlogmas this year not to just randomly make holiday recipes. Right. Because we actually have a cookbook. What is it, Sherry? It is the Hogwarts unofficial holiday cookbook and in there are a number of Christmas and holiday recipes. Yep. And so for today, Sherry, show them we're gonna be making, we're gonna be making eggnog, the Hogwarts version. Um, I don't ever remember eggnog in Harry Potter. I don't either, but that's okay. <laughs> it's totally okay. So today <laughs> we're making eggnog. Mm -hmm. Now, Sherry Beth, eggnog yeah. can be kind of divisive. I feel like you either love it or you hate it. That's how I feel too. It's not like a lot of people's like, yeah, it's okay. Right. We love it. We love it. We buy it every year uh, around this time of, of year. So I'm excited to actually make it. We've never made it. And so I'm, I'm excited to see what that process is like mm -hmm. and compare the tastes because we know what the store-bought tastes like. I'm excited to see if homemade is as good or better. I cannot wait. We love, we will drink eggnog straight. We add eggnog to our coffee. Mm -hmm. uh, we absolutely love it. And today we're kind of making two different versions. Uh, we are making both of them straight out of this book. We're but, making a Hogwarts version, but the Hogwarts version does not include alcohol. So we're going to spike one of them. We're going to have an adult spiked eggnog right. and then a Hogwarts appropriate and approved eggnog for all of the young muggles. Well, and wizards and well, witches. I guess. Sure. Um, so excited <laughs> to make this. Let me show you all of the things that we need. Yep. First thing you need is the official Christmas vacation moose glass. <laughs> okay. Maybe not really, but Obviously. it feels important. We have sugar. We've got ground nutmeg. You could use like, you could grate your own. I know a lot of people do that. This, well, it's easier for us. Uh, cinnamon, <laughs> vanilla extract, eggs, whipping cream, milk, and then this is what we're actually going to spike it with. Uh, you could use lots of different stuff, but I love this. It's called White Christmas. I don't know if a lot of people have this. It is a rum and brandy mix. <laughs> and to me, this is so good in like hot toddies, any winter drink. I love adding white Christmas to it. So yeah. we're gonna spike it with white Christmas. And then we also have like our egg separator, a couple little ramekins, and we're gonna make it all here in our KitchenAid. Now, as far as the history of eggnog, uh, as best as we can tell, it's like early medieval times is when we see like at least a version of eggnog sort of surface. Um, we don't have like an exact story. It's not like James and Michael Nog were in their kitchen and <laughs> accidentally spilled eggs into milk and cream. And then they added some cinnamon and nutmeg and created eggnog. That's not the story that we have. It would be awesome if that was the case. <laughs> um, one thing I did think was interesting though is just kind of how it's been a part of like American culture from the early days. Actually, George Washington had his own apparently super heavy with alcohol eggnog <laughs> recipe that, that he penned. And so I just love that this is like a part of Christmas tradition. And so as Sherry said, we've never made it ourselves. I'm very excited to try a homemade version of eggnog and see how it compares. I am, I'm a little, I don't want to say intimidated. I'm a little nervous just because I've never made this before. It's totally new. So I got this. Shit. I'm great at following recipes. I am horrible <laughs> at following recipes. So maybe we'll have Sherry make this and I will just sip on the white Christmas oh, okay. the entire video. <laughs> All right, Sherry Beth, yeah. what do we got now? Well, it says first to separate the eggs. We can do this. We're gonna do that. We have this handy dandy little egg separator. And so what Sherry's gonna do is she's got that on the edge of the ramekin. She's gonna crack her eggs. We're gonna have yolks in one or yolks. <laughs> you got a really hard L in that, yolks. Yep. And then whites in the other. Also, Sherry, just for today's video, can we call this leg nog? <laughs> oh, gosh. No? You can call it whatever you want, love. Well, then I'm going to call it leg nog. All right. Oh, it's working. Okay. Well, I mean, it's working. It is working. It's just sort of a soupy egg. And we are going to separate four eggs. Yep. Uh, four yolks, four whites. Some people I know can just like separate the eggs. Oh, no. oh my gosh. <laughs> Super fancy guys. Some people could just like separate the eggs using the shells. 
Yeah, I'm not that talented. <laughs> so we have we have like gadgets to help us with everything. Yeah, let's also, be fair. it's so gross because it's like super it's like snotty. Snotty. <laughs> <laughs> They're like snotty eggs. Gross. <laughs> Oh my gosh. It's fine. Do you need me to handle the eggs? Maybe. Okay. <laughs> While Sherry is finishing up separating the eggs, I... Oh my gosh. Need to make sure that's okay. <laughs> it's, it's real Thank good. You. <laughs> All right, eggs are separated. I tasted the white Christmas. It is still good, Sherry. You don't need to worry about that. Okay. What's next? Beat the egg yolks with an electric handheld mixer. Okay. It's not handheld, but it's fine. At low speed for two minutes. You got it. We're using the whisk attachment, mm -hmm. which isn't on yet, but it will be. Will, will be. Just turned the KitchenAid off uh, while it was blending, beating, what's the right word? Beating. Beating. Uh, we've measured out some stuff. We have four cups of milk. We have, that was hilarious. Helps to actually open the Sherry just tried to pour right. one cup of heavy whipping cream without the top off. Yes. It's going to be difficult to pour. So four cups of milk, one cup of heavy whipping cream, and then how much sugar? One third cup. One third cup sugar. You can see the yolks nice and beaten. Now we have to add one third cup of sugar. Okay. And the milk and the cream. And all four cups of milk? Yep. Oh. And blend until combined thoroughly. Now I do know there are a ton of different eggnog recipes. Right. This so, is just the one that we're getting out of this book. Yep. Okay. This is the one that is Hogwarts approved. We actually had found an Alton Brown, Alton Brown mm -hmm. um, recipe that we were gonna use mm -hmm. until we decided to cook from the book. Yep. Okay, so we added in our cream, we added in our milk, we added in our sugar, we have in our egg yolks, <laughs> and now what do we do? Turn it back on. Okay. It is now combined thoroughly. Yep. So the next thing is we're gonna put our... No. Nope. No. The next thing we're gonna do is actually add the spices to here and, and beat that again. Okay, as far as spices, how much do we need? What are the measurements? We need one teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Okay. We need one teaspoon of ground nutmeg. Okay. And one and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract. Boom, so we're gonna measure those out, add them into there. Mm -hmm. We have one teaspoon of ground cinnamon, one teaspoon of ground nutmeg, and one and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract. So we're gonna turn the KitchenAid back on, get all of that mixed up. While it's doing that, is now the time? Yes. Okay, so I'm <laughs> going to take the egg whites, I'm gonna put them in here, I'm going to start whisking them mm -hmm. until soft peaks form. Yep. Are you confident I can do this? I am actually, you can, I have full confidence. I'm completely not confident, so <laughs> let's see if I can make soft peaks form. You can. All right, Sherry, how am I doing? Either whisking, pause for just a minute so I can see. Are there soft peaks forming? I don't know. I don't know either. <laughs> great. We're just gonna wing it. I think it's great. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and add our sugar now. Yep. Are those soft peaks? Uh, sure. I don't feel like they're soft enough yet. All right. Now go ahead just and you're gonna gradually add, add. As I whisk. Another teaspoon of sugar. Okay. Okay, so this is what you get for not reading all of the instructions first. Uh, I'm a moron. I thought that the vanilla extract would be included with the spices, and it's not. We were supposed to add the vanilla extract to the egg yolks. Which I'm still over here whisking. Which you're still over here whisking. Um, Do you want to share this real quick? Sure. So I gotta say, my arm is dead. <laughs> um, I don't really know, like, how is... Are those soft peaks? Or are they hard peaks? I, I don't know. I have no clue what I'm looking for. I don't really either. So we were supposed to add the vanilla extract to that and then add all of that to this mixture. Um, but I think we're it's fine. It's, it's all gonna mix in <laughs> together anyway. Okay. It's gonna be great. Okay, so now we're going to mix my peaks, whether they're soft or hard, we generally don't know, right. into there. Yep. Okay, so in that goes. And then what do we do, Sherry? Mix it up. That's it. Whisk together until incorporated. Okay. And then whisk, yeah, until thoroughly blended, really, is what oh. All right. So I'm just going to raise this up like Josh Groban. <laughs> and then we're just going to turn this on. Yep. All right. I think this is fully incorporated. So just stopped it. We're now going to lower this down. 
And, okay, my gosh, I'm so excited. <laughs> but now, Sherry, yeah. one of the worst parts of this whole recipe. It says chill for one hour <sighs> and then serve. So we're going to put this in the fridge <sighs> yeah. for an hour and then give it a try. We'll put it right in here by our garlic. <laughs> Hopefully it picks up lots of garlic mm. flavor. Mm, a garlic nog. Delicious. Bye, beautiful. See you in an hour. What are we supposed to do for an hour while we wait? Mm. Just drink the rest of this. Deal. An hour is up. Sherry, are you nervous? A little bit. <laughs> I am as well. Let's go ahead and pull it out. Oh, gosh. Okay. We're going to probably... What should we do? Should we give it a stir, you think? Maybe. There you go. You want to do that? It's got a little bit of a froth on top. Just going to incorporate all of that. Now, I'm trying to think of how to do the White Christmas. How to add the alcohol. Because currently... This is all in one batch. So I, I, have, think, I have a thought. Yeah. My thought is, here's the reality. You and I are going to want the vast majority of this to have alcohol in it. That's what I was just going to say. So <laughs> I'm thinking that we should pour just a normal this. A normal mousse. this. One mousse of eggnog. Just to try it. Okay. As the recipe says. Yeah. And then we'll, <laughs> we'll mix the alcohol in the rest of the bowl. Let's do it. Our first ever... <laughs> Non-alcoholic, Hogwarts-approved eggnog going into our super fancy Christmas vacation <laughs> eggnog mousse. Mm -hmm. Sherry? Yeah. Woo. Whoa, my gosh. Can you imagine <laughs> if this video ended with that falling on the ground? <laughs> that would be so sad. That would be so sad. <laughs> Ladies first. Oh, no. You get the first sip. <sighs> How does it smell? I mean, it smells like eggnog. Well, I mean, that's good. That's a, that's a very important first step. <laughs> okay. Oh, I don't know that that's... Mm, I'm going to let you taste it. Oh, no. That's not <laughs> optimistic. I'm not feeling good about this because of how she just said that. It's a little heavy on the cinnamon and nutmeg, I think. It's heavy on the cinnamon and nutmeg. It's not bad. It's just heavier, no, it's... It's just heavier on the spice. Here's, here's what I will say. Mm -hmm. Because I think I feel very different about this than you do. Okay. I'm excited to try it with... With alcohol? <laughs> so come over here. Come next to me. Okay. Let's first give some feedback on the, the virgin eggnog. Mm -hmm. Give me your thoughts. It's good. It doesn't, I guess it doesn't taste like the store-bought, which I guess it's not, it's not supposed to. Yeah. It is heavier on the spices mm -hmm. than I was expecting. So to me, and maybe it's because it's heavier on the spices, this taste, and I don't have, a, I don't have the right word for it. And the word I'm going to use is not the right word because it's, it's eggs and milk and cream, right? It tastes fresher. Like mm -hmm. it tastes, the, it tastes like the flavors of this are more present and strong. Could be, yeah. And so I think that to me, it just tastes more, yeah, fresher is just not the right word, but I don't know how, what <laughs> word to use. Yeah, it's it's more holiday -y. It's more holiday -y. I do <laughs> think. It's awesome, that word. <laughs> it is now. Um, I feel like I didn't whip into strong enough peaks mm. because I think if I would have, it would have given it a thicker consistency. That could be. And it mm -hmm. is a little bit thin. Um, here's what I will say. It's not bad. I'm not saying it's bad. It's just, it's just different. Store-bought eggnog or this? I mean, <laughs> I might still go with store-bought just because it's a little easier. <laughs> okay, that now that's fair. The easy to... <laughs> and it's the it's the taste that I'm used to. The consist the convenience of it is a real is a real thing. Correct. I like this more. You do. I like this more than strawberry eggnog. Whoa. I love I love love how strong the spices are. Oh, see, I don't really, but I'm not a big like cinnamon fan. That's true. You're not. Right. I love, in fact, honestly, I would even grate some fresh nutmeg or cinnamon over the top of this. Oh, see, I would want to add more vanilla. Okay, fair. But speaking of adding things, what do you say we turn this party up, get lit, 
and add some liquor. Sure. Let's do it. <laughs> Here All right. we go. So we have, again, what I'm adding is White Christmas, which is a rum and brandy mixture. Yeah. Uh, love this. Got my handy dandy little jigger right here. Um, and I'm going to start, so this is a shot and a half or one and a half ounces. I'm going to start with two of those. There's quite a bit in there. And so that's what I, that's what I, oh gosh, I'm just throwing stuff around. Nope, we're totally fine. <laughs> And so I'm thinking I might... We haven't even had any alcohol yet. Not yet. And so I'm thinking I might want to add more after this, but I want to try it and see because you can always add more. You can't take it out. Right. <laughs> so pour a little bit here in our fancy mousse. Oh, it's good. We're adding more. We're adding more. All right. We're actually going right. to we're actually going to double that. Okay. Sherry. I mean, I'm not complaining. Here's the thing. You got to get through the holidays somehow. Like, let's be real honest. We were literally just taking swigs straight out of the bottle. Earlier. Sherry. I'm I'm just you know I'm keeping it real. Oh, actually, I think I might have logged that. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. So they might have seen that. Okay. So there's that. Okay. So this is with six ounces. Mm-hmm of white Christmas in it. Okay. Let's give it a try. That's, yeah. That's the winner. That's the winner. Are you gonna let me try any or are you just- No, I think I'm gonna drink it all myself. Cool, cool, cool. Hold on. Yes, you can have some. I did get out a second glass, just so we're clear. There you go. Okay. There is a one liquored up mousse of eggnog. I'm very curious to see your thoughts. <laughs> Oh, Sherry, stop. Now it doesn't smell like eggnog. No, no it, it does not. It smells like alcohol. Now it smells like Christmas party. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's so good. Okay, so it smells stronger than it tastes. Yes. But you can taste the alcohol in there, and it it adds a Christmassy element to it. Yeah, it totally does. And it kind of cuts that cinnamon. But it's not overpowering with liquor. No, it's not. Like, you can still taste, it actually tastes a little more like eggnog. Oh, interesting. Than it did. Okay. Does that make sense? No, it's probably just the liquor talking, but <laughs> all right. I'm a fan of that. Success? I think so. Okay, Sherry Beth, final verdict on our first ever homemade eggnog. Tell me your thoughts. I think I, I'm gonna just be super lame and just keep buying it from the store, but this was not very hard. It was easy. It was, it was very few ingredients and I think the hardest part was you having to like whip that because we don't have a handheld mixer. I True. think if we had a handheld mixer, that would have been a little bit easier. Mm -hmm. um, I, I'm a fan. I thought it was, it was better than I was expecting. I just had an idea. Oh no. We're not going to do it in this video, Okay. but we may do it later tonight. Okay. What if we put this mixture mm -hmm. in our whipped cream maker and we had a <laughs> Boozy eggnog whipped cream to add to our coffee. To add to our coffees in the I morning. Mean, oh my gosh! Happy Monday to us. <laughs> happy Happy Monday to us. <laughs> Holy cow! So I'm gonna agree with Sherry on a couple of things. Uh, first of all, the convenience of buying eggnog at the store can't be beat. Like to be able to go to the store, get a gallon of eggnog, come home and have it. Perfect. I do also agree with her that it is better with the white Christmas added. <laughs> like the boozy version is better than the other version. I really like, um, I really liked it though. It tastes, the, the spices were more forward than they are in normal eggnog, which I really appreciated. Uh, I do wish it was thicker. And again, I think that's my fault. Um, I think we should have whipped that a little bit more, maybe used more heavy cream and less milk. I don't know, some, some balance, I think to make it thicker, but for our first attempt, I'm, I'm super happy with this. This to me was a gigantic success and I can finally say I've made eggnog, which is great. So friends, thanks for hanging out with us. I uh, wanna know down below, are you an eggnog fan? As we mentioned earlier in this video, eggnog can be a very <laughs> divisive thing. You love it or you hate it. Are you team eggnog or not? Let us know in the comments below. We love you guys. Thanks for hanging out with us on all of our Vlogmas videos. Again, a new video every single day right here on Lug Life during the month of December. We love you guys so much. We are going to go finish our boozy, <laughs> our boozy eggnog. We love you guys. Good night.